Hello and welcome once again. So I'm going to do a video here about me and about my personal experience with liver disease. And I knew I had this for a while. And I didn't know the severity of it until August of last year. And I'm going to get into that in a second. And it just blew my mind what was happening to my body. And I knew I was in serious trouble. And it didn't take very long for me to make the adjustments to where I am now and where I'm going to stay. When you're on the other side of the fence and you're basically in hell, and that's where I was, and none of you, I hope, will ever experience what I've experienced, and if you're following my videos, you won't. But let's just say that the other side of the fence is horrible, and it's really tough going about your life. And you don't realize how your life once was because you can't feel it anymore and you don't remember it. So, in August, I was having severe pain in my upper back. And I couldn't move. And at this time, I'm still working and I'm putting uh, videos for all of you. But of course, I wasn't showing my face at that time. I just was in... A, a world of pain and it took me walking down the street and I ended up going into this particular place in Chinatown and I said my back is really hurting my upper back I said I cannot move my neck I, I have the worst pain I've ever had in my entire life and I can deal with pain folks this was just ridiculous and imagine trying to sleep where you can't move and that started happening and that's where I went and I said okay I need to get a massage here and this lady said oh, I'm Chinese herbalist and she says I'm gonna put this stuff on you and it's a thousand years old and it's going to help with the pain I said okay she puts it on little feeling as far as some slight improvement, just a little bit of feeling compared to what it was. So she tells me, you have this particular pain because your liver is hot, very hot. And just by feeling on my back, folks, and I knew exactly what she was talking about. She said, you know, in my upper back, there was a part that was too low when it was supposed to be higher. She saw too low a calcium. And that's what basically what she told me. I'm just trying to tell the story, folks. And then she told me that your thyroid messed up. No good. And then she told me that my stomach was crooked. And I knew because the wrinkle on my forehead, the middle one, was always deeper. And I knew that that related to the liver channel, and I already knew that. But I didn't know that the upper back was related to the liver channel. I knew that the lower back was the kidneys. So to make a long story short, she does some cupping on me. I get a little bit of improvement. She tells me, you drink a lot of drinks with ice. And I said, yeah, I, I've been drinking. She's like, you need warm tea. So that's kind of how I started with the tea, folks. But the regular tea wasn't working. And then I found out about the matcha. And that's what I've been doing ever since. That was just one part of the equation. But she also said, you drank some alcohol last weekend, didn't you? And I said, yeah. She said, no soda, no tea, no nothing. Hot tea. She's talking about processed tea and anything processed, which I wasn't doing. But like all of you, I was like, oh, I'll go out and have a few glasses of wine with some people. And if I would have known the severity of my disease, which I ended up, figuring out of course because she said my eyes were extremely red which I looked in the mirror and they were and I knew that that was a problem I just didn't know how bad it was at that point and they're much much better now but she basically 
told me, which I already knew, and again, this is just feeling on my upper back. This is the power of Chinese medicine, folks. She said, your liver will, will when it improves, your eyes are going to get better, which, you know, no brainer for me. But 30 days later, because she said, do this for 30 days and you should start feeling better. And with drinking the regular green tea and doing the non, you know, decaffeinated, and uh, no caffeine, like I was doing, wasn't really helping me. So the reason I'm showing you this picture is that when I really increased the antioxidant powders, and especially the level that I'm at now, and it was hard at first, especially taking the astaxanthin, you could really feel it. You could feel it in your heart. You could feel it in your body, because my liver was just so destroyed. And the cirrhosis of the liver is the last stage before death, folks. And obviously, I am a strong person, and I'm aware of that. So when someone comes along and they say that the medical community says there's no cure, you can always think of me and this picture here, and I'm going to explain this to you in a minute, that what I was experiencing, and yes, I had the stomach coming out, maybe not as big as in the picture, but the redness, my hands were red, um, my hands were yellow and red. That's the Billy Rubin not being able to get out of your body because of a malfunctioning liver. And remember, I'm in a severe case, folks. I mean, I'm at cirrhosis in that stage. I'm waking up in the middle of the night seeing people and that is basically your liver. All the blood r rushes to your liver, and I've explained this in the videos when you're sleeping. And it's basically harboring all of those demons, if you want to call them. And when your liver doesn't function properly, you're going to wake up in the middle of the night if it's severe enough, and you're going to do this every time. And it could just be a minor thing, and then all of a sudden you turn on the light, there's nobody there. Because your liver is done, folks. There's not much left in it. So this particular folk, uh, uh, this folks, sorry, this particular video is going to be about awareness and to let you know that diseases are obviously curable. If you can't see the improvement, and my hair is part of it, that doesn't show that here. It's growing back like there's no other because the disease is at the end of its um, road and obviously I'm I'm beating it because I'm still here and I'm making the improvements that's why I have lost so much hair so quickly your skin will turn on orange or in my case it was well it was orange at one point but it was more yellowish as as it went on but you're going to get the particular body hair, you're having a, a problem here with that. I did. I had these little annoying things. They looked like a spider, but I thought they were like a pimple. And it was like around my chest here and on the back of my shoulder. No surprising but where, where the pain was. And then the muscle wasting, I was getting some of that. And, it, you know, I was losing weight at that point until I picked it up with the antioxidant powders and said, the hell with this, I'm just going to take as much as I can it right now that I, my body can take. The red hands, they were ridiculously red and or and um, yellow. Um, all my fingers were yellow. I'd wash my hands. They would look like this particular person in the picture, all yellow. And then you're having the problem with the um, fibrotic liver, which I had. Um, it also bleeds. Every single one of my gums was bleeding. I could spit out blood. When I started getting over the first hump in the raw food diet, I woke up one day and it was just like somebody punched me in the mouth and, and blood came up. And it was like a, you know, glob of blood and not to gross you out. And then it went, it went ahead and really started going into that level of, of healing. But it's a, progress every month, folks. Every month I'm knowing that the first of the month I'm making that improvement and I can feel it by the end of the month. Um, the dilated vessels had that. Um, the jaundice, absolutely, without without a doubt. And you could see some of that in the 
previous videos, but not much around that time because I really didn't show myself until I went raw and wanted to correct this issue. And if I can correct this, folks, this is the worst disease on the planet. Some people say, oh, I have the worst stage of, the last stage of cancer. I'm, I'm going to die because my doctor told me that. No, you're not. And I had a few things on my leg. It looked like a pimple it had been there, and that's almost gone now. Um, a lot of other skin issues. I had uh, eczema for the first time in my life when this was happening. It was on the top of my head, and uh, I never had that in my entire life. And I was getting sun. I couldn't figure out why my head was feeling burnt. And uh, that's something I've never had. So you really start getting all these things that open up when your liver is not able to filter out. And life sucks, folks. And I had all these other signs where there's like something in my eye, but there never was. Um, you're nervous all the time. You're just starving. And you kind of feel full after drinking a little bit of water because your liver is just not doing its job. So let's go ahead and take a look at what my liver looked like. Healthy liver, my liver. So this is unheard of in the medical community to get rid of cirrhosis at the stage I was at. It is impossible to them. They would never believe it. Um, who cares what they think anyways and who cares what the haters think? Um, because they're not going to live if this ever happens to them. And I'm doing this because I don't want anyone to ever have this happen. This took years of abuse from not eating properly to my body. It took years of that abuse. Um, and even a shot of alcohol is, is just detrimental to your body. And especially your liver at that point. It's, it's like drinking gasoline, folks. It's putting gasoline on a fire and igniting it. It's really, really bad. So... This is, this is just so everyone can see. This is what my liver looked like. And if anyone has excessive moles, that's another sign of, a, of uh, your liver not working. I, I had moles, and now they're really going away in certain areas, which are also other parts related to some disease. My neck was crooked on one side. You probably won't notice that from the videos. But all of these things are diminished or almost gone. And... That is the power of antioxidants, the good guys. I put all the good guys in my body, and I'm continuing to do that, and they're fighting the bad guys, which are the free radicals, all the uh, inflammation and the immense damage that this particular issue called. And it affects every organ down the chain. My spleen was just done because now that particular part in my eye my left eye is now being corrected where that dot it was really bad is almost gone it was a, it was really solid like someone drew a circle in my eye in the iris and uh, that's almost gone so let's take a look at the progression as you can see the healthy liver getting to a fatty liver the scar tissue and you know this is this is what's happening out there and then let's just show another picture. The liver and the spleen is definitely affected, as I just mentioned. And uh, I want to kind of zoom in on this so people can see that, you know, you got your stomach here. And remember, she told me my stomach was affected. Absolutely. Especially your du um, duodenum, which is going to show the signs of kind of going from your end of your nose all the way to the edge of your lip. That line, that wrinkle. Only the left side is still there. It's almost gone. And this is all part of Chinese medicine, folks. And this is what the New Age Health Guide is about. And it just amazes me and baffles me when people say, I don't know why I got this. Some people, you know, they'll mention, why did I buy this guide? It's all about what, what my body's trying to tell me. Well, <laughs> if you want to know what your diseases are, and you don't care if, if, if you die, then that's that's your business. But the information is there. It's just unbelievable that people are just so brain dead. And if they don't hear the word, you know, herpes, or they don't hear the word HPV, they think, oh my gosh, this is just useless information. Look, folks, that's just factored in with the other diseases. It's just another disease. It doesn't mean anything. There's no such thing as going and treating the symptom. The body is one organism. You've got to treat the whole body. 
It all starts with the chief of staff, the liver, the brain right above it. When you're going to be confused and you've got issues and your liver, which is right, your right hand man of your brain is not functioning. You're going to have a horrible, horrible, painful, uh, dismal life. And getting a liver transplant isn't going to make you live that long, folks. And if you have hepatitis or any other issue, a liver transplant does not get rid of hepatitis. Uh, I have news for you. That doesn't work. You have to heal the body. You can't take organs out of the body and put a new one in and expect it to heal itself. So that's that's not what what's happening. And um, you know, it, it just it's just unbelievable um, what people don't know out there, and they're taught by the medical community. So here's a healthy liver. Here's a fatty liver, and there is cirrhosis, folks. Look at that enlarged. Just like the spleen was enlarged, it went all the way from this level to this level, I'd say in about half the time. Now I'm getting to this level because my hands are normal. And there's a slight bit of yellow on a couple fingers if I really hold them back and I'm in the, in the sun. But that's it. Um, very, very minor. But my liver is, I'd say, about 80% right now healthy. And I got about another 20% to go. And just the people that have seen me. And somebody commented the other day that have seen me, wow, you look at all your hair. And I still have a long way to go, folks. But when the disease is gone, the hair comes back. Everything's coming back because it's the wheatgrass, the, all the antioxidants, and the body being nourished, and the liver processing those nutrients, especially the sun. It stores all in your liver and then your kidneys. My kidneys are obviously improving. That's why I do a lot of cranberry. Because cranberry is great for the kidneys. So, again, liver disease is incurable and it's impossible if you read online to get rid of cirrhosis. So if you think you can't get rid of herpes and you're eating bread and you have all this pain and you're not listening to me, I do feel a little bit sorry for you but you need to wake up. I mean, this is ridiculous. If you, if you can't watch my videos and you want to complain about something, I don't have a lot of sympathy for you. Because if I can come from this level to this level, from November till now, you have no excuse. Zero. The only thing you could, you're good at and the only excuse you have for not healing is you. So this goes for any disease, folks. And sure, I've been sick and had minor cold. They just had one recently, a couple days. And I was like, what the heck? Why is my nose getting stuffed up? Just took even more of the maki powder, which I'll get into that in another video, with all the antioxidants, the high levels I've been taking. And it went away very quickly in a couple days. Once the chronic disease goes away, and my eyes are fully clear, they're getting clearer and clearer, and there's no dots there, I will know that my body is functioning the way it should. All my hair is back. And that is happening, folks. I mean, the back is almost completely filled in. And it's made numerous and amazing progress in a short time. But I have made that happen. So, the final part I want to show you here is the... basically the liver functions and real quick I want to get into this before I end this that it removes potentially toxic byproducts of certain medications okay and metabolizes or breaks down nutrients from food to produce energy when needed helps your body fight infection by removing bacteria from the blood the sickness folks because you gotta detox the liver it's like having a swimming pool and you got that pool cleaner in there and pool's filthy, but the pool cleaner's clogged up. It's working a little bit, but it's, like, it's clogged up, and, it, and it's not able to filter out. Just think of that analogy as your liver. It's got to get all that junk out of your pool. Just like your body, uh, the pool cleaner is doing its job for the pool. Your liver is working for the body. So it produces most of the substances that regulate blood clotting, okay? 
and prevent shortages of nutrients by storing vitamins and sugar. I had an amazing amount of blood sugar issues, heart racing, because my body couldn't regulate sugar. But then I would take blueberries, it would stop that. Nature, especially the antioxidant powders. But at that time, I didn't know what I had that was last year and what I needed to do. Once I figured out the problem, I got on it right away. Produces most proteins needed by the body. Produces bile, a compound needed to digest fat to absorb vitamins A, D, E, and K. So there you have it, folks. You mess your liver up, you mess your life up. You correct your liver, your life comes back. You are a new person again. Hope this video really keeps people in the loop of what's going on out there. But anything is curable. Don't listen to what people tell you. Do it on your own. Follow the antioxidants, greens, berries, and all antioxidant powders. And sprouted pumpkin seeds. As well as the matcha tea and the astaxanthin. Thank you.